think about China painting, you think about kind of turn of the century, you know, painted on, on porcelain kind of things, antique things. And we want people to know that it's still alive and kicking and, and that you can actually do even really modern styles. Art is art, okay? It doesn't matter if you're, you're painting on cardboard, you're painting on porcelain, you're painting on the best canvas you can paint on. It's all art. You have your fundamentals, okay? And you need to know what those fundamentals are. I love uh, to paint porcelain, but I love uh, all mediums. I uh, paint uh, oil, uh, watercolor. Each one has its own challenge, and each one has its limitations, and each one's more freer, okay? So when you, if you want to paint on porcelain, and you're a trained artist in watercolors, don't think you're painting on, on porcelain. Just paint. In order to just get new people interested in the art, we know that we have to get the word out there, and we do have to teach. I've always said, if you want to become a better painter, start teaching because it pushes you to do things you wouldn't normally do or see it through a, another person's eyes. I taught seminar in uh, five uh, big conventions, Australia, Japan, uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, Thailand, and of course, uh, here in the United States. You'll find, like you get into Europe, they take it a little bit more seriously because there's a younger group of people. You'll have people in their 20s, you know, in Japan and China and Asia, you'll have that same kind of situation. Normally, the person in Asia always choose uh, the face, the figure. The students uh, enjoy very much uh, different uh, uh, styles. I would look at what the students would do. I took that as a lesson, not as a mistake. The school is normal four days. But when I thought seminar, it's uh, five days to, to do the, the, the face with a lot of uh, techniques and textures. And then a lot of times you're, you are learning as you're going. We just kind of realized that there are a lot of painters that are isolated. Maybe they don't have a teacher nearby or have a group that they can you know, get together with. And so we started this group called Porcelain Painters International Online. And you can just go to the forum and look at this. There's all kinds of lessons and video. Literally anything you want to know, we will do a lesson on and, and show you how to do it. Because if you're not learning, that's the end. Okay? When do you stop practicing? When they throw the dirt on the grave. That's the stop. That's the end. So you're always practicing. And we've just seen so much sharing of information with the different teachers that we have online that just you know, share what they know without reservation. It's a really, really great thing to have that, that kind of camaraderie, which there'd be no way you could do that without the internet.